just as beautiful, but with a slightly less graceful flight. Damselflies belong to the same order of predatory flying insects as dragonflies, the order Odonata, meaning tooth-jawed, but they have their own suborders. Damselflies belong to the suborder Zygoptera, meaning equal-winged. All four wings are of a similar size and shape. And dragonflies belong to the suborder Anisoptera, meaning unequal-winged. Their hind wings are usually shorter and broader than their front ones. Compared to dragonflies, damselflies are smaller and have slimmer bodies. The easiest and fastest way to tell them apart is damsels will fold their wings along the body while at rest, and dragonflies will hold their wings out flat and away from their body when resting. Damselflies have eyes on the sides of their heads, while dragonflies have large eyes that almost meet at the top of their heads. Dragonflies are generally more powerful of flyers too, and some of them can reach speeds of 43 miles per hour, that's 70 kilometers per hour, while damsels have more of a delicate, fluttering flight. Not only do damselfly and dragonfly larvae look a little different, and you can tell them apart that way, dragonfly larvae suck water into the abdomen and push it over their internal gills, whereas damselfly larvae have their gills at the end of their body in three appendages. Since damselflies are weaker flyers, they're more often seen closer to areas of water, but you can find dragonflies much further away from water sources. Not only are they just gorgeous and fun to watch, it's very reassuring when you see them because dragonflies and damselflies are important bioindicators of water quality. They rely on good oxygen levels and unpolluted water to survive. Eggs are laid in or close to water. As larvae, or nymphs, they have an aquatic lifestyle and feed on other aquatic insects and animals and can exist in this stage for years, some species. After progressing through up to 12 larval stages, where they molt and grow bigger, they'll eventually crawl out of the water, their skin splits open along their back, and they'll emerge as adults and fly away. In their flying stage, damselflies live for a couple weeks, and as you might expect because they're bigger and stronger, dragonflies can exist in their flying stage for many months. My, their, their colors and beauty just knows no end. There are over 6,000 species of damselflies and dragonflies worldwide and can be found all over the globe except for Antarctica. And they have their own list of predators. They're eaten by frogs and spiders, fish, turtles, birds, etc. You name it. But they're of significant ecological importance. And especially for us because of their stealth-like tactics, they're out killing and eating mosquitoes and other flying insects that would be most certainly annoying us. Some of the damselflies you're most likely to see is the common blue, the banded, narrow winged, the broad winged, the red eyed, the spread winged, The emerald spread wing. The ebony jewel wing. The western willow spread wing. The white legged. The American ruby spot. And then there's the small red. and the large red damselfly. Well, we all know what dragonflies are, but damselflies seem to get confused with them and mayflies all the time. Hopefully all this information has opened up your eyes to them more, and you even might know a loved one that would really enjoy this video as well. So thanks for sharing, caring, and subscribing. It's what really keeps this channel and knowledge growing. So I thank you so much.